you understood all these operations if yes then now you will be able to write a program to create a stack let us try to write down a C program where we will create a stack and that program should execute like this this exe file I am running stack size is 3 3 menus actually 2 menus are important for us push and pop first I will go for choice number 2 pop operation what it should tell stack is empty initially stack is empty right ok push operation enter data to be pushed which type of data here integer type of data because we have created this stack using array of integers so let me push number 10 all right one more time push action 20 one more 30 if i go for push what will be the output because i have already pushed three elements and size of stack is three only so now it will give output stack is full right pop action pop element it will show what was our order of push action first 10 then 20 then 30 so what will be the popped element it is 30 last in first out one more time pop popped element is 20 10 one more stack is up so our aim is to now write down a C program which will work like this which will show us use of a stack remember before push action we check whether stack is full or not and before pop action we check stack is empty or not right now if you see here what is the stack actually it is an array and a variable top these two things together make a stack so what we will do these two things we will add in a structure we will go for structure struct stack stack has got one array and one variable top right what will be declaration of array here we are working on integer type of stack so int give some name to that array let us say data its size max we will use macro max has defined max here we are considering size 3 top top is integer type of variable right so this is structure declaration to represent a stack using an array now you may ask sir why to use structure without structure also can we do yes we will be able to do but you know benefit of structure structure groups logically related data so programming becomes easy see suppose in my program there is requirement of three stacks so my declaration will be s1 s2 s3 this is declaration of three stacks three stacks are now created in my program without structure how it will be it will be complicated i will require three arrays data 1 data 2 data 3 three top variables top 1 top 2 top 3 won't be it complicated yes so better to go for structure so now let us try to write down the c program hash define max is 3 array size is 3 just now we discussed about this declaration a stack is represented using an array and a variable top right in main one stack we will declare as few variables we will require our first job will be to initialize the stack means top of the stack should be initialized to minus one after this there will be some code to display menus read users choice what is important case one and case two menu number one push operation menu number two pop operation what we are doing in push operation push operation if stack is full we will display to user message stack is full push action cannot be done otherwise we will read data entered by user in some variable let us say x and that data that x will be pushed into that stack s right pop action 
we will check whether stack is empty or not. If it is empty, message will be given to user. Pop action cannot be done. Otherwise, we will perform pop operation and pop element will be displayed to user. Right? Yes. So this is sort of pseudo code I have shown here. Now let us try to write down the actual program. Come to dev C++ here. This is structure declaration. This menu function displays menu and reads user choice. Initialize stack. Here, what to write? Top we have to initialize. Top is minus one, but top is part of structure, so it will be s dot top, right? Push operation. Let me comment this pseudo code and write down the code here. If s is full, display tag is full. What will be the corresponding code in C? If yes. S dot top, right? Dot operator will be required because S is a structure. Top is its member. If S dot top equal to equal to max minus one, then display it is full, right? Else, else what? We will ask to user enter data to be pushed, and we will do push operation. So here, I am asking to user enter data and reading that. Is it correct? Yes. So first time, suppose users input is ten, then twenty, then thirty, like that. Now, push action. What we did? First increment top. So s dot top plus plus, and then in that array. What is name of our array? Data, but it is part of structure S. So S dot data, right? In that, we have to place this number, this X, at which position? At top position. Don't write only top. Compiler will give error. S dot top. You got this code. Remember, because of structure, top and data. Those two members will always be accessed using dot operator. Those are members of structure. S dot top, S dot data, right? Yes. So this number x is stored in the array, or we will say push action is done. Number is pushed in the stack. Now come to pop action. Yes. Let us comment this pseudo code and write down code. If stack is empty, then display it is empty. If yes, when stack is empty, when top equal to minus one. So when s dot top is equal to equal to minus one, display the message stack is empty. Right? Else, else what? Display pop element. How to do pop action? What we did? Yes. See, suppose this plate is to be removed. Yes, remove it. But then top should be decremented. So, in that variable x, we will get that element from the stack, from that array, right? It is s dot data. Where is that element? It is at topmost position, indicated by member top, right? So from array data at position top, get data store in X. This is our pop element. After this, top minus minus. So S dot top decremented, and we will inform to user. About this popped element, the popped element is x. That's all. I hope you got the code. See, push action x is stored in array in stack, and see pop action data is 
obtained from stack in x exactly opposite before push action top is incremented after pop action top is decremented let us compile and run this program first pop operation stack is empty push 10 push 100 push 1000 three elements are pushed one more push no not possible stack is full all right pop what will be the output which element will be popped last in first round thousand is popped hundred is popped ten now no pop operation not possible stack is empty right i hope you understood this complete program let me explain you again about this structure see to represent a stack we need array and a variable top so what we did we group them together grouping is always better from programming point of view so declaration of that structure stack is as shown here it contains one array name of array is data size is max and one variable top of integer type right now in program we declared one variable s of this structure type so diagram we can show like this s is collection of one array data and one variable top so this data will be assessed as s dot data and top will be assessed as s dot top you know member of a structure is assessed using dot operator 